Okay guys, so we're gonna choose our layout. Studio Pro layout 2015. The link will be in the description to the package. So we get this beautiful layout and now we're gonna start over the cube and make a door. And I'm using this character for good reference, so just to let you know. And now I'm naming the door and I'm turning to a level object. Or you could touch or you could just press C on your keyboard. Next I'm gonna get a new cube and I'm going to start making a room. So with your room, it's a lot you might have a different type of room. So right now I'm just gonna be adjusting it the way I want it. I'm gonna add um polygon mode which I then click C on the keyboard. So I'm adjusting it now. And I just select it all. And I'm going to my knife tool and I take it off visible only. Uncheck that. And now I'm gonna cut by his knees area. Boom. And now I can start making my um <clears throat> I guess I'm making my room all right so let's make it wide select that side bring it down then hold control and move and that is extruding it so hold down control and move again and move it. That's how you can that's how you extrude. That's one way of extruding. <laughs> and now we're gonna delete those faces. Good. And now what we're doing here is we notice that it's blue in the inside. And it's supposed to be yellow to show that it's on the right side. So to enable that is to Hit normals, go to options. And what we're gonna finish doing is finish building it, and then we're going to flip the normals over. Yeah, about right there. So I'm just backing before the edge mode. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off um take out some lines, which is dissolving. So if you notice we right click you have to dissolve and dissolve button right in the tools and modes so I'm just selecting and hitting dissolve so this layout could really help you out especially how the tools are right there and dissolve nice so basically it's clean but dissolve can sometimes mess you over later when it comes to UV which when we do the texture atlas so I'm selecting all now and I'm going to hit reverse normals so I'm just selecting my walls Good. and I'm going to perfect split it but if you want to split it then that's your choice but then we'll have to go through optimize so now we call that room walls and oops we miss a piece all right so we're going to go back to the main cube because we use perfect split and once you use perfect split you can go back so now we perfect split that piece and then we're gonna bind these two back together select children and connect and delete nice so now We're gonna do our edge, and we're gonna we're gonna extrude it in. So we're going to extrude, and then 
can leave that to 90. And then we want our offset to be like zero point. It's up, it's up to you. Sometimes two five or zero five. It's up to you. But if it was extruding out, it would have to be 91. So just to let you know that. So I'm just deleting unnecessary polygons. Okay, just cleaning it up. Because you know that's what the game is not going to see. Alright, so now I'm going to start working on my room. Which I'm going to be cutting out the door and the window. So I am going to go to my front view. And I'm going to the front and then I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to use the door as a guideline. And I'm going to extrude. I'm just adjusting it the way I want it. Okay. And I'm going to select the other half. And I'm going to just cut. I'm just using the door as a guideline so I can have a perfect door. Good. So now I'm just going to select these two. Hold down control and bring it back. Boom. And delete that window. Now our room is starting off shape. And we're just gonna name it room and floor. Because that's what we split it off from. Now we are gonna look at our old scene which you saw in the preview. And we see all these beautiful assets. So what we're gonna get is the pipe and the vent. Start on that just scene. All right, so I'm gonna have this in the description for you to download, so you could use it too. And just to let you know, I have a band for these. And if you want to customize it, then you can just go to the layers and customize it. But I have it high. All right, so we bring it in. So right now, I'm just getting all the shapes for my um, light. And then I'm going to solo them all. And I'm going to start developing my light. So you and then basically have an understanding on the tools. And if you don't have an understanding, you can check on Simversity. They show you how to get started with modeling. Or just go on YouTube and you'll see more how they get started, how they model. So I'm just going to speed this up and see how everything looks when I'm finished. finish mauling the light so I hope you was watching and 
seeing how I was using different tools and how I was using extrude again and how I put it to 90 this time when I was doing the little bracket to hold the light. So pretty much now I'm going in constant line shading mode and I like to be in it a lot when I'm modeling. So now I'm just gonna save the project and I name it, you know, game creation. So click yes. And pretty much now I can start grouping and giving names. All right, so we basically have a save room now where the player will be saving. And I just saved it. And now we actually finish with modeling. Next, we'll be creating a text shot list and create mass layers. So see you in the next one.